Hey everybody, I'm going to go over Welder Performance Qualification Database Program that's written in Microsoft Access that I've made. Uh, this is pretty simple, there's no code checking, nothing fancy like that. Uh, the way that it works essentially is we have a, a data, uh, uh, some tables that are full of welder information. There's my welders. I have a table that's full of weld test information, which is the ranges used and the ranges qualified. And then I've got a third table that ties those together and contains the information such as the type of test, so on and so forth. And you have to manually type these in each time for each test. The welder you do not and the test used you do not. So <clears throat> these are existing records that are in the database. These are just sample records. And you can scroll through them with the buttons down here. I can also preview the welder performance qualification record by clicking this button. I'm going to get a little warning if you're using the demo. I was going to ask if you want to print it or not. I'm going to click no. And this is what the Welder Performance Qualification Test Record looks like in the demo version. It'll have a watermark on it. It won't have any information at the top up here other than Welder Performance Qualification. And by default, it puts my name in there for the laboratory, but you can change that. Okay. You can also change the test supervisor statement. Those are default values. If you buy it and purchase it, I'll change those for you and then it will automatically enter certain information in there or I can make it where it's blank. But you'll have to let me know. Close the print preview. So here on the instructions of the front page, this form is completed by selecting the welder and the test used. Then all remaining fields in blue will need to be filled in. You cannot enter test details in this view. You can modify the ranges used for qualification for the test by opening the test ranges form. But be aware that changing a test range will change the information on all previous test records. So that can be good and bad. Uh, if I edit this test range right here, the one that's on this record, whatever changes I make are going to show up in every associated welder qualification test. So that's good if I, if I notice that I made a typographical mistake and want to fix every record that has that. It's bad, though, when I make those mistakes because it's going to show up on every individual record. Not a big deal, though. Close the form. If I want to scroll through all the test ranges, I can do it just like that. I can see each one. Close the form. If I want to edit this specific welder's information, this is Welder 4. I'll click that button, and there he is, Welder 4. And there's his information. No close button. So if I've got a, and I could program one, but it'd be good practice. Just hit this X button up there. Boom. Close. If I want to view or edit all the welders, same thing. Now I can scroll through each one of the individual welders, and I can see their specific tests. Okay. I can't open those tests from here by clicking on them. But if I want to go to that specific test, view that weld test entry, nine test ID number eight, welder five, just like it was a moment ago. Close that form. Close this form. That's about it.